Hi there, everyone. This is Angel Princess, they're on for two. And Merry Late Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played Mark Ray 6 in... since May, <laughs> as it showed. But anyways, now it's time for my Christmas theme video, even though Christmas has already passed. But yes, this is late because I already had other plans for around Christmas time, so of course I could not play. And like I mentioned in my update video, I would play Snowflake Lake. Without bonus? We'll put with bonus, and we'll put 20 turns. Yeah, 20 turns, since I have not uploaded anything in a while. I'll go with Peach, because she's my favorite. And I'll go with my other three favorites of Mar Party. So yep, this is my Mar Party Christmas theme video. Or holidays, special, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever. <laughs> but alrighty, I chose Snowflake Lake because of its snow theme map. My other choices were Chilly Waters from Mario Party 3, or a compilation of snow-themed minigames from the Mario Party series. And I decided Snowflake Lake because, well, kind of an interesting story. As I'm recording this, this is December 29, and when I got Mario Party 6, it was December 30, 2004. So yes, yeah, so I'm recording this one day before my um, eight year anniversary of Mario Party 6. <laughs> that and also I wanted to do a board map. I didn't want Mario Party 3 and Mario Party 6 is... Mario Party 6 is my favorite. So I thought, why not Snowflake Lake on Mario Party 6? Yeah, and I said I got Mario Party 6 back in t December 30, 2004. I, I kind of remember that time clearly, actually. Like, I had played a demo of Mario Party 6 back on December 15, 2004. And I remember I told my mom, like, Oh, I want to buy Mario Party 6, can we buy it? But at that time, we were gonna go out to, go out to visit relatives out of the country. So my mom was like, nope, we're not buying it because you're not going to need it. But she told me that she'd buy it, my, she'd buy Mario Party 6 when we get back. Which is what happened. We got back on either December 29 or 30. And then she bought me Mario Party 6. And then right when I bought it, that's when I started playing. So it was December 30, it was. It really was. Is there- no, there's no red star. I'll go up. <laughs> yeah, and I remember the demo of Mario Party 6. I played it back at, tar at a Target. And there were six minigames. It was what, the nighttime and daytime of what goes up. Like, the night- the daytime was called what goes up, and then the nighttime was called must come down. Even though here, in the final product, it's still called What Goes Up. There was that, Odd Card Out, Odd Card Out, Odd Card Out, Odd Card Out. Odd card out. I don't remember the other three demo minigames though. But those were the ones I remember though. Oh, what? I messed up very badly and Daisy messed up even more badly. <laughs> Okay, cool. I got a star! Woohoo! Oh yes, for Snowflake Lake, we all start with five stars. There is no gaining stars uh, until the bonus stars, but that's different. That's at the end. Oh, another duel! I'm sure Boo's gonna pick me then. <laughs> for another star! Awesome! I'm gonna get two stars in one turn. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, that's how Snowflake Lake is, so it's different from all the other maps, where you have to buy your stars. 
And in order to get even more stars, you have to steal them from your opponents. One way is duel, like how you saw with Daisy and me. Another one is through the map's own rules, which is writing a chain chop. You steal a star, you steal one star for every time you ramble with the chain chop in the map. Oh, I thought I had it. Whoop, there it is. I got two stars in one turn. <laughs> Without a chain chomp. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have picked 20 turns. We'll see. I don't know, I haven't played Mar- I haven't played the earlier Mar parties in a while. I think the last time was with- Green Fighter Buzani in the first Mar Party. I mean, I played Mar Party 9, like just yesterday. But Mar Party 9 doesn't have the traditional walking around the board map collecting stars objective. I mean, I still love Mar Party 9. The mini games are awesome, the board map play. It's different, but you know, it adds a new, new taste for the party. A lot of Goombas Daisy had. Ah, uh, oh, I should have waited just a little bit. Wow, Daisy still got a lot. <laughs> she definitely won. Hmm. Yeah, just what goes up must come down. Odd card out. Those are the only demos I remember of Mar Pretty 6. The only reason I remember Odd Card Out was because that was my first, very first minigame to play in Mario Party 6. Yeah, I clearly remember that. <laughs> Not only that, but the instruction booklet of Mario Party 6, it shows Peach holding a, an A sign, which is the same exact sign that the players hold in Odd Card Out. So yes, coincidence? Because Peach is my favorite character? Yep, coincidence. <laughs> Snowflake Lake, it's... Honestly... I really like this snowy theme map. It's like, you know, just snowy. <laughs> and there's only two snow theme maps. So, yeah. Don't know if... If this would be considered the best snow theme map or the better snow theme map. Because you know when you use the term better, it's only to compare two things. Yeah, me and my grammar. <laughs> oh no ways. Anyways, let's not get hit by the ray of fright. Come on, Booyar! Well, you were our only hope. <laughs> one of my favorites. She definitely has to be one of my favorites. Ooh, ooh, story time then, story time! <laughs> Besides my Mario Party 6 demo first experience story. <laughs> so yeah, night time, there are freezies, icicles that block the path to the middle. And honestly, the middle here is the only safe path place from the chain chomps. And at Chain Chomps, wow, the, at night the Chain Chomps, they're more deadly because you can roll even more dice blocks. In the daytime, you can only buy one dice block for 20 coins. But at nighttime, you can buy one dice block for 10 coins, two for 20 coins, or three for 30 coins. Yep. Oh, that's smart. She used the golden mushroom to get to a further chain chomp. But who could she get? So yes, there's a chain chomp. If she runs into anybody, she steals their stars. And the chain chomps can only travel around the outside. Oh, she tried to get to death. Dang. That's crazy. 
never would have ever thought of doing that. Because Toledo was too far from there. Yeah, see, she's right there. Daisy nearly got her with if she had gone in three more spaces. Oh yeah, my other story time. <laughs> the story time was in the snowflake lake. My other story time was how... Why these four characters are my favorites. Well, one, Peach is my favorite because she's been my favorite since I was little. She was my favorite when I was little because my favorite color was pink. Peach's favorite color was pink. And I just love princesses. I mean, th I think that's how most little girls are. They, they just adore princesses. And Peach is a princess, so I adored her. Oh, <laughs> boo until they kiss smush. They go back to start, I believe? Yep. <laughs> and ever since then, Peach became my favorite. Because- OH MY GOSH THERE'S ENCORE OUT! OH MY GOSH I WAS SO HOPING FOR THAT! <laughs> well I was hoping more I'd play this mini game while I was talking about it. But this works out too. <laughs> Anyways, I have to continue story time after. <laughs> Oops. Cause then that happens. I mess up. No! <laughs> But yeah, that A sign, or that B sign in this case, that's what Peach holds in the instruction booklet. Story time shall commence after this mini game. Because I need to concentrate. <laughs> there we go. See, see, see. My story time was distracting me. <laughs> yeah, because those brutal computers, they they can react and be quick, or correct, pretty quick. So, yep. Anyways, yeah, story time. <laughs> That's why Peach is my favorite. Just, she still remains my favorite now just because of clinginess, since she's been my favorite for a while. And... That's why Peach is my all-time favorite. I feel like I repeated myself too many times. Mm. Where is everyone? Okay, there's Day- Oh, they're right there. Actually, if they're all right there, I want to stay away from them, so... Try to get further, because getting a 10 didn't help me. Alright, and the reason why Daisy is one of my favorites... It's a similar story to Peach. Very similar. Because she's a princess, and I liked princesses when I was little. The only reason why Daisy's not my top favorite, just... Well... She wears yellow, but I still like yellow. I just prefer pink, so I prefer peach over Daisy. And also, I had already liked peach when I first saw Daisy in Mario Party 3. I mean, Daisy started becoming my favorite after Mario Party 3. Because that's when we were introduced to her again. First time she appeared to Super Mario Land, yeah, but I never knew she was Daisy when I was little. So yeah, Smart Part 3 made me like Daisy. And, oh, I'm gonna go squish. <laughs> Poor Boo, he just got out of a snowball and now he's back again. Toadette's reason why Toadette's one of my favorites is because of Mario Kart Double Dash. That's when she first appeared, ever, for Mario Kart Double Dash as an unlockable character. Oh, battle minigame. And I just thought she was super adorable in Mario Kart Double Dash. And when I once I picked her, I'm just I just adored her. She was like really cute, adorably. Adorably cute. <laughs> Wait, what was it in Sector 1 and 2? Go with Hyper Sniper. Because if there's two, two votes, they get cancelled out. And I also liked her Golden Mushroom special on Double Dash. I thought it was really useful, helpful. And then from there, I just... 
I just like till that. And then when I saw her in Mario Kart 6, she just immediately became one of my favorites. Oh, I'm red! I thought I was blue! <laughs> of course, do not get the Bowsers, because then you lose all your points. Annoying, but she can still be adorable. I don't find her annoying at all. I don't see how or why. But yes, her golden mushroom is my in my opinion it's useful. I mean who doesn't like to spam the golden mushroom? Once you get it, just keep pushing the item button and until it runs out. You have to have all at least done that once in a Mara Kart. <laughs> And now for Boo, Boo has to be the most interesting story. Cause one, I never knew Boo was Boo. Like, like I knew Peach was Princess Peach, you know? Like, the main character that Mara has to save. But I never knew Boo was like, you know, an enemy in Mara's adventures. So, when I saw him in Mario Party 5, I'm just like, oh okay, he's just another character. And then Mark Ray 6 came, so it's like, oh, okay, he's back again. It wasn't until, I believe, a few, like a week after I played Mark Ray 6, I had this dream where Boo was, wanted to be friends with me. <laughs> yes. Yes, a dream. I had a dream that this Boo and this player, Angel Princess, could party together. Ah! No, that's mine! Darn it! That wasn't cool! I should've gotten that. Finish. No, that wasn't mine! That was so mine! Cause I ground pounded and then it, for some reason it missed. Lame! For the record, that was my win. Not told that, but... Okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> but yeah, I had this dream of where Boo wanted to be friends with me. And at first I was like, oh, I don't know. I was hesitant. Hesitant. And then I think Boo had given me a star just to show he was nice. And I'm like, uh, okay, thank you. And then next time I play Mario Party 6, I'm just like... I just decided to pick Boo, and then, I don't know, from there I just, I just really like Boo. I mean, Boo's like an adorable ghost, you know? And no, they're beating me! Darn it. I started cr scratching so I could go faster. No! <laughs> And then that's how Boo became one of my favorites, just because of a dream. A dream I had. <laughs> Very interesting indeed. <laughs> and now it's daytime where all the freezies melt. This is part one, let's go to part two.